The Centre for the Neural Basis of Cognition is a joint research and training institute um, that uh, crosses between Carnegie Mellon University, CMU, and the University of Pittsburgh. It's entering its 20th year, um, and it was initially established uh, by uh, philanthropic funding uh, in Pittsburgh to generate this cross-disciplinary, cross-university institute. Uh, its major foci have to do with um, uh, encouraging and fostering collaborations, research collaborations between faculty of many different departments at both universities in a highly interactive interdisciplinary fashion and at the same time to um, uh, educate uh, graduate students mostly and, and postdoctoral fellows um, at the interface of neurobiology, um, psychology and these other associated disciplines in an attempt to understand the neural basis that gives rise to the complexity of behavior. And the concept was to take CMU strengths in robotics, um, computer science, statistics, and psychology, and PIT strengths in clinical neuroscience and basic neuroscience, and build a program that bridged the two institutions seamlessly. And I think that's really what the strength of this is. We have uh, really an open architecture where the interactions are between scientists and colleagues and uh, what institution they're at uh, really is beside the point. So students can uh, come into PIT labs, go into CMU labs, and do that easily. And faculty collaborate in the same way. To have two universities across the street from each other and to have them decide to collaborate rather than compete, I think is uh, what's very special. Because we have a really large cohort, essentially a community uh, in Pittsburgh that's doing this work, there is an enormous amount of support for individual students. Um, there's infrastructure for these uh, faculty collaborations and um, there is also a, a really strong social network that uh, has developed over the years in which students really feel as though belong, they belong to um, this community. There was a, a time maybe five or ten years ago where um, people thought that science was best done with large groups of people from different disciplines because you couldn't cross-train individuals. Um, what we're doing is cross-training individuals. Our courses require students to have computational training, bi um, biological training, and psychological training. And in that way, um, we have collaboration within people's minds in addition to collaboration between students. This cross-training idea and this concept was put in place around 20 years ago. Um, and this was before most universities had even cottoned on to the idea that this is really how the future of science was going to be done. And um, we fine-tuned the model over time, and I think it's been extraordinarily successful. We're as strong now as we were 20 years ago. Um, when I arrived, I think there were 30 or 40 students in the program, and now we have 140 students in the program. It's also um, encouraging to see that the students who have come out of these programs that we run here, um, who have now gone off to establish their own labs and who are independent investigators, are beginning to make contributions to the field as well and sending their students back to the CNBC. It's, uh, it's the, the kind of proof of concept or the mark of success is that uh, their students are now coming here for this interdisciplinary training.